Hi, this is a short video tutorial on, um, on the Unity plugin for uh, synthetic view synthesis datasets. So uh, these datasets, this plugin are basically a couple of scripts uh, implemented in uh, Unity in C Sharp. Uh, and we can basically integrate these scripts inside the Unity project so to create a uh, data sets that set of that scene that then we can use for view synthesis algorithms such as narrow gradients fields. So let's first look at the GitHub page. And uh, so this is the GitHub page. Uh, maybe you got your files by, by the professor of the university whatever in any case uh, in these files we have basically a pdf explaining um, yeah basically explaining how the plugin is created was created and how it works and some tips and then we have the scripts that are that are in the nerf plugin file so first of all let's download the scripts The scripts are indeed the uh, Unity plugin. Let's open uh, another Unity project and just drag and drop these scripts inside of our asset uh, assets folder. All right. So let's just create a 3D object. It's not very important, this 3D object. We just need to create, before using the plugin, um, a tag, uh, which we will use for the cameras. And this tag is called uh, Pro Camera. So the tag now exists in the unit settings. It's not binded to the, to the object. In fact, we can just delete it. And let's create an address just to basically have something to capture in uh, our images with our plugin. So let's indeed open the, the, the GUI window of the NERF uh, that set creator plugin. Uh, let's name the cube target and let's plug it in uh, in the GUI so that now when we can spawn a camera looking at the target. We can change the position of the camera by tweaking the distance and height values. So we can change the distance and height and the camera will automatically look at the target. We can change the characteristics of the camera, such as the field of view. Um, and when we do so, we can save the camera as a prefab and basically we now have a prefab with distance, height values, and uh, the field of view. So we can also change the far clipping plane. We save the cameras. And now when we click um, in the, the halo button, we basically create a halo around the character, basically set cameras around the target. So if we put a semi-sphere, a semi-sphere is created. If we put a sphere, a sphere is created, and so on. And this works with as many views as we want. So this is just for showing how the cameras will be placed around the target. So these are advanced parameters. And if uh, you want to, uh, you want to maybe make, as, as you can see here, um, advanced uh, configurations, you can do them by <laughs> randomly changing these values. And uh, you can kind of, uh, there is no specific rule, let's say, um, you can kind of get an idea after playing a little bit with these parameters, and maybe you will get a configuration that uh, you desire. So let's go back to the original parameters. So now we want to generate a data set that has 100 training images placed in a semi-sphere way um, 
45 and 33 for the test case, and we change the validation images with a halo formation. Actually, let's put it back to semi-sphere. And let's create the test set. So we'll have uh, to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, I suggest to to right click before the loading is created. So to well, you'll see why eventually. Uh, so right click on the folder while the bar is still loading, and now you have um, basically the data set in the assets folder, and you can see that indeed we captured. Oh, with a transparent background in this case, a set of um, of cu uh, the cubes as seen from multiple views. If you like, you can also change the background, of course, by setting a, a non non transparent background in the cameras. And you can also see that indeed we we stored the camera extrinsics and field of view in the JSON that, uh, that of course, Nerf will need to place cameras around this, in this space.